Hey, this is Samuel from St. Hart and today I'm at Lake Side in New Jersey. Today what I'm reviewing is Dark Amber Perfume Oil. As you can see, And the liquid is lighter compared to the recent one that I reviewed. It's almost like a very light gold color, you know. And when I sniffed it, or when I first smelled it, my first impression I got was a very crisp, green, ripe guava, you know. And this was very significant. This two riders to me because um, I remember when I was in Ghana, I used to live in what we call a family house, you know. So. There was one big house that basically it's like everybody in the family could come and live there you know and my grandmother lived there and um usually the tradition was that when let's say if you you know if you are a person right and your children grow up they try and build a house for their parents you know and especially mostly the mom you know because um Supposedly, the mom, you know, takes care of the kids more often. Uh, that also play their role, but the women usually it's an honor for their kids to build a house for them. So my grandmother had they had built a, a, a house. I used to live with my grandmother, you know, when my mom passed, you know. So we had a great time. She was a wonderful woman. But on the grounds in the family house, I know she had this guava tree, you know, and she really cherished that guava tree. And I remember clearly to this day, it, you know, sitting there with fruit when it grows up, you know. Today, I know you could get them, if you go to the grocery store or the grocery department, you could get them at the exotic fruit section, you know. Or you could buy guava um, juice and have the, the drink to drink as well, you know. But the first impression was a sweet, crisp guava smell that I got from it. It was very nice very sweet you know I, I also realized that it was very fragile you know so it wasn't very beastly on projection you know, for projection I'll say five out of ten you know so it's like you have to apply a lot to have a lot a, a lot of projection snips and then I'll put some in my back and on my chest you know because it's very hard now so I also help with the projection some more but it's very are fragile you know so projection is decent it's not beastly you know and I also for longevity it's uh it's last at least for to project beastly you know it will stay close to the skin so you have to either apply more or get closer to smell it but this scent you know although it's a dark amber it's a very high grade smell you know it's it's I could see it take you know wearing this to like a club wearing it to work wearing it to um, to hang out with friends in a social gathering it's very very versatile and it also to cup of it is also a unisex fragrance you know it's although it gives that that guava to me that guava like smell it's it's not extremely fruity you know it's not extremely fruity if you wear this out it's a very beautiful beautiful smell you know and i i highly highly recommend it you know and Dark amber, actually amber itself, there are various ambers, you know, they have the green amber, they have yellow amber, they have white amber, which I'll review in my next video, you know, so look out for that video as well, but also, and they have the blue amber, you know, but amber originally came from trees, you know, and they came from fossilized tree resin, you know, resin is something it's like a liquid that comes out of trees and I know before when I used to spend more time out in the trees in uh, you know walking around in the you know more often outdoors and also into nature I used to we'll see some because if you go if you go and look at the tree usually they'll have this gummy looking liquid coming out of the tree and what they resemble is like um, if you go and get the gum Sorry, if you go and get a glue, you notice how glue is, they have this glue that is very liquidy, you know, but when they dry out, they become gummy, you know, so it's not very, very gummy, but it's like, it's, 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 um, 
it's squishy, you know, if I may say. So, I have an example of the ones that I've seen, the tree, amber that I've seen, they look something like this color. This is a piece of glass that I picked up, <laughs> you know, trying to find, because I was trying to walk around and see if I'll get a sample of the amber so you could see what it looks like. But I found this glass which resembled the color of the amber on the tree. So if you happen to go to the woods and walking around, you see, if you see something like this, that is, that is amber. And in the olden days, it was called not the gold, you know, because of how it looks, you know, it looks so golden. And also because it was used for ornaments, it was used for jewelry, and it was used for decorations on the body and stuff, and um, things that we wear around, people will wear around for, um, for decoration and to look nice, you know, for bangles, for, um, for chains. And even today, they still sell amber jewelry, you know, where the crystallized resins are made into beads and you could wear them for jewelry and stuff like that. Now, the resin from the tree, what makes it unique is that resin is fossilized. Actually, amber is fossilized resin that comes from the trees. And this fossil, this fossil, fossil resin takes between 30 to 90 million years to, to, to become fossilized. And what they realize that usually when they have become fossilized, they will, um, they will find out that it has actually stored insects in them. They have insects, they have arachnids, and arachnids are like spiders and those crawling stuff. If, actually recently I was even looking on, reading something online and they have found this I think 200 million spider with horns, you know, and it was crystallized and it was stored and kept nicely in um, amber, you know. And it's been found also found out that the the oldest amber fossil they found out was 345 million years, you know, and it was intact, you know. It's usually like this, and it has some kind of animal being kept in it you know and the animal was kept in, in, intact you know it's kind of like think about mummifying something in um, in um, in a liquid or in a substance that preserves the the, uh, the animal or the organism inside the the, the the substance you know so that is amber now that is the physical amber you know so you're wondering okay so how do they how does the perfume the amber perfume come out of this resin resins right or this hard stuff now with the aromatic amber usually what happens that they also have the aromatic resins so they have the fossilized resins but they these, these resins have aromatic properties to them so meaning they give off various smells you know so usually the notes are benzoin, labdanum, and vanilla. Those are like base, the basic notes, you know. And then usually people have tend to add different things to it to spice it up or to create a different kind of uh, fragrance from the basic uh, amber, you know. So there are various amber today on the market. But this particular one I really like, you know, I really, really like because of how it smells, you know. So you could definitely grab this perfume oil from Saint Hack. It's a um, 0.033 ounce bottle. I'll ship it to you personally. And um, you know it's five dollars ninety nine cents for a bottle. You know, so you could grab this. It's a very wonderful perfume. I've been wearing this for the past two weeks. You know, in a row. You know, because I usually I'll test the perfume for about a week, but I really liked it, and it was a good, perfect um, summer fragrance you know for me as well you know so grab around to say hack grab a bottle and um let me know your comments let me know what you got from this perfume oil you know dark amber you know and a lot of times you know like i said it's a unisex fragrance you know so most people and also it's like more of a natural fragrance and a lot of people um if you are want to shy away from this you know synthetic and a lot of um modern fragrances this is a good natural perfume oil for you as well it's it's, it's very nice perfume you can't even tell you know if you wear it out 
you know. So this is Samia from Senha. Take care and until next time. Oh, and make sure you subscribe below because that's the only way you get my videos, my new videos when they do come out. You know, I post uh, two videos every every week. Um, I'm also on Instagram, social. Uh, I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and social media. You know, so you can follow me. I uh, could connect with you. You know, talk on random stuff or anything at all. You know, so take care. This is Samuel, and until next time. Mm -hmm.